Hey there all Croft Cider lovers, it's the Cider Fanatic here, back with another, yeah you guessed it, Cider Review. Uh, going once again to the uh, Frukt Stereo Cider Company out of Malmö in Sweden, taking a look at their Cider Day Night Fever. Uh, gotta love that nod to the uh, Saturday Night Fever movie with the John Travolta there. Uh, weighing in at a lovely 5.5% ABV, 330ml bottle, guys. Red bottle cap. There we go. A little bit of information. Uh, sparkling cider made of waste apples. Ingrid Marie variety from local growers. Fermented with indigenous yeast. No filtration, additives or added sulfites. Contains sulfites and natural sediments. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There you go. As you can see, there's a lot of sediments on the bottom of this one, which is signifying of a quality cider. Now, guys, let's get this one out, see what we're going to get. There we go. Nice bit of smoke. And the cider is going down. Yeah, it's nice and sparkling. Let's see so that we can get everything in there, all the sediments and all the haze. Oh, yeah, will you look at that? Look at that, guys. When the sediments came tumbling down. There we go. Right. In view. No head whatsoever, but you usually don't get a head on a good cider anyway. As you can see, haze for days. Lovely lemony, lemon juice. Look to it. Really, really solid aroma. Oh, definitely acidic. Yeah, kind of those golden, yellow, golden autumn apples. Yeasty, acidic, sour. Yeah, almost kind of a little bit on the verge of being too sour in the aroma there. A little bit of a harshness to it, uh, kind of a sharp sharpness to that acidity. But I mean, yeah, it's all in the taste. So let's dive in and see what we are going to get then. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, I'm gonna go for another one. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's a craft cider right there. Okay, so Frucht Stereo or Fruit Stereo in English, uh, Cider Day Night Fever. Gotta love that disco look to it. Uh, it's it's a complex cider, guys. It's full full of flavors, chock full of flavors. Initial sweetness, then comes that a surge of golden yellow autumn apples smacks you in the face there. Then comes a heavy funky note. Citrusy, funky, barnyardy hits you in the face again. And then it kind of mellows out with a little bit more apple taste coming back for another for a second there. Uh, really nice. Uh, loads and loads of citrus notes. Tons of apples in there. Acidic, funky. Mm. Mm. Yeah, very fruity, tart. Tons of apples, love that incredibly good funky note to it. Yeah, oh yeah, barnyardy, farmhousey, with a little bit of a kind of a sweet and sour back end to it. Complex, it's a complex cider. Uh, yeah, I have done another one from these guys from Fruit Stereo, uh, only one on the channel. It was their Cider Revolution, and that was a real. Belter, uh, this is one as well. Although I, I would say that the uh, the other one was a little bit better than this one, but it's still a very very good cider. So if you like, guys, your funky ciders, your farmhouse ciders, that old school farmhouse uh, touch to it, the acidity, the funkiness, the tartness, the fruitiness, the citrusy notes, and all that, those yellow autumn apples, give this one a go. Give this a go. It's a 4 out of 5. 4 out of 5, guys, 
from the side of an addict for uh, Frupp Stereo Saturday Night Fever. That was everything I had for today. Feel free to chime in, thumb me up if you like the review, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.